Hey you guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a button that allows you to toggle on and off basically um, background music that you have in your game. So this tutorial assumes that you already have background music, which uh, we have right here. Um, if you don't have one, you can watch uh, this tutorial that's on the top right of the screen right now or at the end of this video and that will show you how to add in background music. So if you have your background music, what we need to make right now is an actual button for you to be able to toggle on and off. So to do that, under the explorer, you want to go into your starter GUI, click the plus and enter in a screen GUI. So I'm just going to rename the screen GUI to something like toggle. And then under the toggle, um, let's just click the plus and enter in a text button. So this button will be the button that we'll use to um, toggle on and off our music. So I'm just going to place it there and then now you can customize it however you want. For example, maybe you want it to be green and then if we go into like the text, you can have big words that say on, Let's make the text scaled, Let's make it bold. Let's also make the text white. Uh, and then I think finally I'm going to go into the text button, click the plus and I'm going to enter in a UI corner. So this button has some nice rounded corners. So after you have your button, what you want to do is go under the text button, click the plus and enter in a local script. And now I'm going to zoom in and you can write what I write. Local button equals to script.parent and then local music equals to workspace and then colon wait for child and then put in quotation marks. And inside the quotation marks is going to be the name of your music. So in my case, the name for my music is relax scene. So inside these quotation marks, I'm just going to write in relax scene just like that. And then we're going to create some variables for some colors. So local red equals to brick color dot new. And then inside the quotation marks, we're going to put really red. And then local green equals to brick color dot new. And then let's put in some kind of green, maybe lime green like that. And then finally, we need a variable to check if the music is on or off. So local playing equals to true. Uh, if you want, you can remove the space so all your variables are together. And now we can start um, the actual scripting. So button dot mouse button one click colon connect function and then put in brackets and then go down the line. If playing then and then go down the line and then write playing equals to false and then go down the line and then write button dot background color equals to red and then go down the line and then button dot text equals to and then quotation marks. Let's go off and then go down the line and then write music dot playing equals to false. So what this means is when we click the button, we're going to check if the music is playing. If it is playing, then we'll stop the playing and then we'll change the button's background color to red. We'll also change the text to off and then we'll stop the music. Um, so the next part is we need to turn the music on again. So to do that, we're just going to copy these few lines and then go down a line and under this indent, we're going to write else if not playing, then go down a line, paste all of that and then change playing equals to false to playing equals to true background color red into background color green and then text as off into text as on and then music is playing into true just like that. So this should be the entire script and let's go test it out. So as you can see, we're inside the game and the background music is currently playing. But if we press this button right here, um, it's off. And as you can see, the background music also stopped. And if I press it again, um, you can see that the music continues playing. And I can keep on doing this over and over again, just like that. And at any time, I can just turn it off. Uh, now, obviously, if you don't want the player to spam click uh, the button, you can also add in a debounce. So to do that, we're just going to put in local db equals to true. And then um, under here, we're going to write if playing and db then. 
and instead of Elsif if not playing and not DB then and then at the end of uh, line 13 over here we're just going to write task dot wait and then this is going to be your cooldown timer so let's put it at two seconds and then DB equals to false and then we're going to do the same thing for the other side but we're going to make DB to true. So by writing these few lines of code, we've essentially added in a two second cooldown, um, or you can change this two to whatever you want. And this prevents the player from spam clicking. So I'm back in the game. And of course, if I press it, the music is off again. But as you can see, I can't spam click it because of the two second cooldown that we have. And so the last thing I want to show you guys is um, this actually works in multiplayer so that if one player decides to turn off the music on their side, um, this won't affect other players. So to show you this, we're going to go into a multiplayer test with two different players. So I'm just going to start up a new local server. So as you can see, right now I'm on players one screen. And if I turn off the music right here on players one screen, the music is no longer playing. However, if I head to player two screen, as you can see player two is completely unaffected and the music is still on and playing on their screen but on player one over here um, the music is completely off and not playing for them so yeah that'll be it for this tutorial um if it helped make sure to like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you guys next time bye